So the participants in this session are alphabetically ordered apart from me, Hajar, Masood, and uh, uh, Shapur. Okay, so let's focus on the uh, first question because there are so many questions and uh, this topic I actually uh, I found it really interesting. So let me see. Okay, the first question, according to this video, what is functional differences between men's and women's brain, uh, brains while they face with stress? So a very general question, but perhaps the principal question here. So uh, Masoud, would you please uh, clarify that? Yes, uh, I think all of women's uh, have previous social uh, such as a uh, uh, group of uh, special friends uh, or family. Uh, they like to solve their uh, stress and their uh, issues with uh, this group, this special group, and give help from them to clear. Uh, but men uh, uh, are opposite. They like to keep the issue in their mind and clear it by themselves exactly that is the main difference or distinction between how men and women actually uh, manage stress okay so let's continue because there are so many questions let me see okay question number two by Arash from Poland who is not here actually uh, he used to attempt because we use this the same material uh, some time ago for another discussion class so the question number uh, question number two reads uh, why are women more emotional than men as I have uh, stated that it has not been clearly mentioned in the lecture but anyway who knows perhaps Hajar do you ha do you have a clear-cut answer to this question As uh, mm, I think that uh, uh, women uh, like to make sense uh, for everything, uh, and uh, as a lecturer said, uh, their um, information processing um, are driven by, uh, by uh, their emotion uh, and. Um, uh, uh, women uh, are more uh, in touch uh, with their feeling uh, and uh, better uh, the man uh, to uh, express uh, their uh, emotion. Okay, yeah, so uh, their feelings and uh, actions are, as you said, driven by emotions and maybe this is because of the fact that uh, uh, their neurons are interrelated more interrelated in comparison to men so and to be more technical there is a layer between the two hemispheres which is called corpus callosum and this layer uh, or connection actually is thicker in women in comparison to men so men have a uh, thinner corpus callosum and that's why actually their uh, hemispheres are not that connected or interconnected okay so let's me let me continue there are so many replies thank you very much we are learning so much from each other before and after the class okay we come to the third question by Sasan do you think the empty box in men's brains uh, help helps them to handle challenging situations better compared to women um, uh, yes. uh, I think really is more important box in uh, men uh, the, in the men's brain uh, because it's empty <laughs> uh, it's very important because uh, you can't solve any problem uh, with empty box, uh, full 
Fluid box uh, haven't any space for uh, new issues. I think uh, an empty box uh, have a space to uh, filling in, uh, issues and then solve. It. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there is no limitation to what they can with an empty box, which is not just limited to anything, and it's not filled. Uh, by any as as you have just made this simile or comparison uh, so there the, that glass is not filled exactly doesn't have any fixed capacity uh, its capacity is almost actually endless okay so let me see thank you for this uh, clarification and response All right, we come to another question by Sasan. Uh, was his performance really attractive as a lecturer? Frankly, his uh, screams and tricks were almost irritating to me. So, Shapur, I wonder if you are still there or not. Okay, not. So, Hajab, would you please? Okay, so can I answer? Yes, please. Uh, I think his work perfect uh, uh, in moving his car in moving uh, uh, his content uh, by um, uh, changing the voice and uh, his emotion. Uh, please note that uh, in the section. Uh, he referred uh, to woman uh, brain. Uh, he used Catholic emotion. I think it's not enough mm -hmm. to tell to uh, his audience that uh, that it's not easy to talk about woman brain and uh, maybe raise for him. I think. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, he dramatized his performance, and his performance was not just monotonous as we are used to. Uh, for example, uh, this is the typical way that we see a present a presenter giving a lecture. Uh, most of the time, he or she is buried by some papers and notes, but he just dramatized it and. As a matter of fact, uh, improvised it because he was so ready to do so. He is Mark, he's Mr. Mark Gonger, and he's so f widely famous. Um, and I, I really like that, uh, let's say, type of performance, which is uh, unique to him, uh, that uh, animation and dramatization of their uh, performance. Uh, it makes the performance. Uh, be or remembered almost forever to be honest okay so let's continue hold on question number five uh, what does this expression mean uh, and even i've specified the allocated the uh, yeah uh, the spent time time five uh, minutes 38 seconds Drive somebody nuts. Of course, Arash has already answered this question, and it means drive somebody crazy. So we don't need to just focus on that. But I thought that it was important. And uh, again, question and uh, another question by me. According to the lecturer, how should men and women interact with each other to relieve each other's stress? So Hajar and also Shapur, you are always welcome to answer. Yes. Yes, please. Um, men uh, like be alone and uh, don't don't talk uh, about their uh, stress. Uh, so uh, women should uh, leave them alone. Uh, but uh, women uh, like to uh, talk about their uh, as a lecturer said, unless uh, their brain explore uh, and uh, they uh, like to uh, 
uh, have uh, somebody to uh, listen uh, their um, their uh, um, emotion uh, and uh, um, uh, they want uh, to express uh, their uh, stress to uh, relieve it. Okay, now we have a very sound example of a woman and also a sound example of a man. Uh, do you find the lecturer to be honest and uh, is he right by uh, what he is talking about? I mean, do you agree with him? Uh, Hajar, do you agree with him that actually, for example, when you're stressed, you just want to uh, express your emotions and uh, with, a, with another person? Is, is that right or you just prefer to just hold it uh, with yourself, hold it inside? Um, to me, uh, uh, when uh, uh, to me, yes, uh, I uh, like uh, to uh, express uh, my uh, emotion and uh, also uh, my stress. Uh, to uh, but to somebody uh, that. Um, uh, to somebody that uh, uh, trustworthy was yes mm -hmm. it's uh, sorry okay. uh, first of all sorry for problem in my net okay. uh, I, I was just fixing my problem but okay. uh, about these questions um, it's 50 50 uh, I mean most of the uh, as a lecturer said in the video that in these situations men got into um, uh, empty box for the relaxing uh, and uh, got away the stress but um, as uh, for for uh, educa educational literal uh, uh, peoples and knows that we're talking to each other uh, can uh, far away this. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Thank you. So what about you, Masoud? Masoud, do you agree with the lecturer that, for example, when you're under uh, the pressure of stress, uh, you just prefer to suppress it uh, with yourself and do not share it with for example, your spouse or another person or your f close friends? Yes, I agree. Also, it's different for everyone. Maybe someone uh, not the same as the other woman. Uh, maybe someone uh, uh, has more person. It's, it's not uh, in it's not um, public for all men or all women. I see. Yeah, there are some exceptions. But generally speaking, that is the way that uh, these two genders try to uh, handle stress. Uh, women tend to just share their emotions with others. And men generally tend to uh, handle their stress individually on their own. Okay, thank you. So let me see. Hold on. Okay, go to question number seven by Shapur. Why no one must not touch minds boxes of men? A grammatical point when you use no one, so the verb must be affirmative. It means the verb must be positive because no one is negative. So negative by negative equals affirmative or positive. So uh, this is uh, something because we are here to practice grammar, vocabulary, pronunciation, and some even actually uh, philosophical or logical points of view through the window of English. Okay, so uh, this is a good question. By the way, Hajar, how do you answer this question? Sorry. Uh, because um, mm. it's a rule uh, for men uh, and uh, 
they uh, don't like uh, uh, to uh, touch this box, uh, their box, uh, sorry, their mind's box. Let's say... Uh, Can I answer? Yeah, if you have additional information to share with us. Uh, yeah. Uh, I wrote uh, in, uh, in, the, in your website about it before, but I have uh, other idea about it, a uh, technical idea. In the computer science, we have uh, a single process and multi-process. I think men uh, are single process. They cannot uh, do uh, more than two or three more uh, or, or task think in one uh, time uh, they are single process but women are multi process they can do uh, multi process in one uh, second uh, it's, it's different between them excellent yeah technically speaking we refer to them as uh, single minded men are more more or less single minded and women are multiple let's say mon minded and they they can uh, easily uh, handle multitasking this is also called multitasking they can do uh, several things at a time which is almost impossible when it comes to men uh, okay so far so good thank you so let's continue hold on Okay, question number eight by Shapur. How many little boxes are there in the mind's uh, brain, uh, mind's men? So it's better to say in men's minds. Uh, so Shapur, would you care to answer this one? Because actually this is your turn and you have not been speaking for a while. As Masood said, I think it's, it's, it's a secret <laughs> for men. <laughs> because it's a uh, completely different uh, um, as a matter of fact this uh, this is really bold when it comes to men and uh, uh, so men do have some empty boxes and according to the lecture this is our special mental or brain box uh, okay so it's not the answer to this question is not exactly clear and it has been kept a secret okay so let me see Uh, let's uh, skip some questions because we are running out of time uh, okay there uh, question number 13 which is a, a fill in the blanks question the the women's brains are made of blah 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 uh, this is a multiple choice question so uh, Hajar, how do you answer question number 13, which is a multiple choice question? Of course, you already answered uh, that. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, are, uh, are correct. A big ball uh, of connect, uh, connected wire. Exactly, yeah. It's a big ball of connected wire. And uh, yeah, so every neuron actually is interrelated. So let me continue. Question number uh, 14, which is a uh, fill in the blanks. Thank you very much for developing this beautiful and interesting question items, Shampur. And Masood, how do you answer this one? Okay, uh, Hajar has already answered that uh, in, re in response to question number 14. So women's brains are made of big ball of wires and everything is connected to everything. So he just read what Hajar had already uh, written. So, so Can I answer? Yeah, I already answered that. Yeah. So question number 15 by Shapur. Can you tell us one of the reasons why women can remember everything? So, Haja, it's your turn. Uh, sorry, uh, I as a uh, lecturer said, uh, women um, uh, make um, 
sense to everything uh, and uh, so uh, they uh, 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 they are uh, more in touch with uh, their feeling uh, so uh, they could uh, remember uh, everything mm -hmm. yeah the answer to this question actually apart from what you said is that uh, because their uh, neurons are interrelated and actually their brain is a big ball of connected wires so uh, driven by emotion okay thank you so let's continue question number 17 what's the favorite box in the brain of men so it's clear the the empty box we don't need to just spend time more than this and uh, uh, we come to the uh, question provided by Masood. In fact, is there any relationship between brain and feeling? Is the reason of differences between their feeling uh, in the difference in the differences in the brain and which side of their brain have more differences? So Shapur, uh, how do you respond to this question, please? Um, I, I really don't know about it. Mm -hmm. So uh, you can guess, you know, uh, here we don't focus on some factual points. So do you think that the, the differences between men and women, um, particularly in terms of their feelings, have something to do with their differences in their uh, mental structures or cerebral structures? Cere cerebral means brain-related structure. Yeah, I know, but I have no any idea of the person that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, actually, the answer to this question is yes. Uh, they uh, feel differently, they act differently, they just uh, have different emotions just because of the fact that they have different brains and that uh, that is also the title of this uh, presentation or lecture women's brains men's brains they have uh, and also uh, dr. John Gray the author of uh, men are from Mars and women are from uh, Venus uh, actually has pinpointed this point or idea very clearly by just focusing or elaborating on this point that men and women are uh, from different or various or distinct planets. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. So it shows that okay, we are different species, <laughs> let's say, of course, in a very exaggerated fashion. So they, we do have different uh, neurological structure and cerebral structure and that's why we just manifest our emotions differently okay so let's continue if there is any further question no there is no further question and also almost we are run out, running out of time so if you have any uh, point to make or any further question please just uh, pose your question you're right uh, I was talking about that I was explaining uh, even according to the lecture uh, 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 women uh, have do have some emotions and doesn't mean that men don't or lack in emotions the point is that they prefer not to share their emotions easily with others and this it is a part of their nature uh, so it doesn't mean that men are emotionless Okay, so we come to the end of this session. Thank you very much for your participation.